in this conversation, you will hear about like basic principles and overall understanding of uh, RIM, retail information modeling. Okay, I've been spent the last four years doing retail information modeling, which is applying exactly the same principles as BIM to retail. Retail is actually remarkably similar in some ways to the construction industry and it has different stakeholders who are interested in what appears. So we created a single source of truth within the model. We have uh, different ways of looking at that. We have different types of information that can be displayed to different people. We have parametrics. I haven't felt the need for clash detection yet, but there are many, many other things which take it beyond. I guess where it becomes interesting for current BIM users is where is BIM going? And here we've applied a lot of artificial intelligence, voice commands, augmented reality, virtual reality, and really awesome. it's, it's a very dynamic system. And the response has been unbelievable. And the real question is, what is the effort it will take to people to adopt to RIM as well, retail information modeling? Do you think it will be a very difficult shift or do you think that's like the, it will be part of the BIM in the future or people will be like smoothly moving to that side after they adopted BIM fully? So what is your thinking on that? The, the real problem is selling BIM in the first, in the early days, that there, there, everyone was sole users and that was a great problem. It involves changing work practice and the construction industry wasn't really sure. And it's taken 30 years to really take off. I would say it took 45 minutes inside each presentation we give inside the retail industry, 45 minutes, they are sold and they put their money and it, it's such a different reaction. I think they are at a loss though, and they don't even have CAD, that is the problem. I mean, they have CAD drawings for their buildings, but how it all links together is a nightmare in their current systems and we've solved that. We, we have a very simple, clear way of showing return on investment and we optimize, we, we know where everything is in the sort. Retailers don't on the big stores. Because of that, and our access to real-time data, we can optimize the way the shelves are laid out and we engage the customer. We can have ways of engaging the customer in store or shopping at home in these very realistic stores. There is a very clear path to return of investment, but there had to be before too. Nobody invests without that. And if we can give an, as an example on the RIM model, kind of a model uh, or a system that you implemented or you have as a concept. Okay, so we have, we have a single information model as you do in BIM. You need ways to generate that model. There are different ways. You have existing stores, so we walk around the store scanning and we can generate a BIM model, not just the store layout, but the actual BIM model, which we store internally, because we have the store model as well as the product models and where the products are laid out. So we generate the whole thing by scanning with the phone now, if it exists, or we take DXF or Revit drawings, import them in and automatically or semi-automatically construct the BIM model. So constructing is a very important part. We have research. So different people are using it in different ways. The research people want to be able to put a person in the store and have them go around in virtual reality and shop and see how they react, what they're looking at, what they pick up. So we do that in the oh, same live store. Kind of simulation, I believe. It's a kind of simulation, right? It is, but if you Google um, Nielsen Smart Store, you'll actually see our software running, and that is live from there. Nielsen are the biggest research company in the world in retail. Then we have display system. So we have uh, a large display room where 86 inch screens and you can manipulate data and display data, real data of sales and things. And then you have, and that's, we have those going in in several US sites. And we have the most important one is the optimizing the store and to have that beautiful store, realistic store available to customers online. So if you want to go in and walk and shop the store, the last thing we have is we actually, on your smartphone or on a phone, we have an avatar appear and take you around the store. The phones these days, we can work out where we are from the graphics, from what we can see, and we know where everything is in the store because we have a mirror copy of the database. So you say to your phone, 
where is the special K? And your the man appears and he takes you to all the dots on the line if you prefer. Wow. And what kind of stores could be that most beneficial to? What kind of stores you are selling mostly? Uh, well, we're talking to the biggest U.S. retail stores. Well, I've only touched on some of the stuff. It's a very pretty picture. The very comprehensive model and the way we work is very interesting. So, you know, we're, we're well poised. Um, I guess where it really becomes interesting for BIM users, if you're in the BIM business, is that that technology applied back into uh, making a new BIM system. Why don't you check our talk with Jonathan Ingram? We also have an amazing playlist for you. We're trying to give you maximum value by inviting credible guests. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you get instant notification as soon as we schedule something and we publish something.